is on special right triangles, something that shows up on every single SAT and ACT. Today's lesson is actually going to be all three ACT questions, but I'll make another one regarding specific SAT questions on this scale as well. So what are special right triangles? What are the ones that we really need to watch out for? Well, as you can see on the screen, there's 30, 60, 90, and then 45, 45, 90. The first one we're going to talk about is 30, 60, 90. So the idea behind this is it goes X, X root 3, 2X. And this ratio works for every single 30, 60, 90. So if I told you that the side opposite of the 30 was a 5, What's going to be opposite of the 60? Well, a 5 root 3. Really, for the 60 degree angle, you're going to be tacking on a root 3. Whereas across from the 90 degree angle, we're going to be tacking on, really, 2x. 5 was x, therefore this side will become 10. Again, this side was 5, so the side opposite of the 90 is 10. Okay, cool. That's 30, 60, 90. Let's try 45, 45, 90. This is a right isosceles triangle. In other words, if this angle is 45, then this side and this side are the same. Because if this is 45 and this is 45, then their corresponding sides must be the same as well. Okay? So how does this work, or what's the ratio here? Well, it goes x, x, x root 2. This works for every single 45, 45, 90 triangle. And the idea here is that this would be 5. Well, if that side is 5, then this side is also 5. And if those two sides are 5, then opposite of the 90 would be 5 root 2. So that's the idea of 45, 45, 90. I'll zoom out so you can soak in both of them. Really, 30, 60, 90 again was x, x root 3, 2x. And then 45, 45, 90 was x, x, x root 2. So let's try applying these to some questions. Let's come down here for number 44. Number 44 says, in fact, I actually don't even care what it says. I usually just skip right to the question. What does it want? It wants the area. Well, if it wants the area of this, well, I know how to do this. This is just A equals one half base times height. There is a problem here though that makes it a little bit more complicated. Really, if I want the area of this triangle, I need the base and the height. Again, one half base times this height. Unfortunately, I don't have this height right here. But I do have a few things screaming at me. Really, I have alarms, sirens going off in my head because I see root two and root three in the answer choices. When would we ever have root two or root three in the answer choices? When there's a 30, 60, 90 involved, and in, in fact there is. What did we say? If that's 60 degrees and this was 6, remember it goes x, x root 3, 2x. Really, this was the 30, this was the 60, and this was the 90. So across from the 60, I don't really know, but I know that this side is 6. If that side is 6, then opposite of the 30 must have been 3. In other words, this piece right here must have been 3. Oh, well, that's easy. If that side is 3, then this side must have been 3 root 3. Again, 3, 3 root 3, 6. That's a 30, 60, 90. So I'll clean this up a little bit for you because at this point we're done. We have the base and we have the height. Now what are we going to do? Well, it's just 1 half times the base, which is 8, times 3 root 3, and we're done. The answer is going to be J, 12 root 3. If you have any questions, of course, chime off in the comments down below, but I'm going to keep moving. Come over here for a 45, 45, 90 triangle. This is number 27 from a real ACT. This one doesn't really want the area, it wants the perimeter. Interesting. Well, if the hypotenuse is 8 root 2, and it does say that it's a right isosceles triangle. Right isosceles, when does that ever happen? Well, that only happens if those two sides are the same. And that only happens if those two angles are the same. At this point, I understand that, well, wait a second, this is a 45, 45, 90. And how did 45, 45, 90 work? Well, 45, 45, 90, this would be x, x, x root 2. In other words, opposite of the 90, they must have tacked on a root 2. 
Well, that makes this easy for me because if this is 8 root 2, then this must have been 8 and this 8. And the perimeter is, of course, 8 plus 8 plus 8 root 2. The final answer is E. So that's good for number 27. I'll take a pause there and make sure that you're okay. And when you're ready, come down here for your last 30, 60, 90 question from a 2022 test, I believe, just a few months ago. This question is really tough, though. Obviously, you can see it's in number 60. It's the hardest question on the ACT, at least this year. So I'll give you a minute to pause and try this question by yourself. And then once you're ready, unpause and you can watch me go over this question. So let's try this question together. First of all, I do see root threes in the answer choices. And again, root three, whenever I see a root two or a root three, that kind of screams something out to me. It screams 30, 60, 90. The ACT te loves testing this skill and they're doing it again. In this case, what's happening? Well, they want the area of this triangle, I believe. The area, remember, I don't read all that much. I just see, okay, the area. And it does look like each of these are just R, really. That's 1R, that's 2R, that's 3R, that's 4R. Really, each of these sides is 4R, 4 radii. Okay, well, that's useful, but I do need to find the area. If I want the area, then I'm going to have to find this height here. That's the height of the triangle, and that's the base. Again, how do we find the area of a triangle? It's going to be 1 half base times height. In which case, well, we know the base. How many radius, radiuses, or really radii, is the base? It's 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 4R. We know that it's going to be 1 half 4R. That's the base. But the tricky part, or really the most complicated part of this question, is finding this height here. And the reason it's complicated is because it does say that this is an equilateral triangle, or, or I mean, it suggests that it is. If this is equilateral, then what are the angles in an equilateral triangle? Remember, it goes 60, 60, 60. And what's interesting about a 60 degree angle? Well, when it gets bisected, what's half of 60? It's going to be 30. So I'll put it in red because that's kind of alarming. If that's 30, oh, well, wait, wait a second. How did 30, 60, 90 go? Well, 30 was half of the hypotenuse. So this must have been 2R, which it is. You can even see it. It's just 1, 2. Therefore, what is this piece opposite of the 60? Well, that's going to be 2R root 3. Again, you tack on a root 3 for that side. Okay, well, if that's the case, we're done. Because now we actually know this piece. We know the height was 2R root 3. At which point, we're essentially done. What is the answer here? The answer is F. When you multiply this out, the 1 half and this 2 cancel perfectly, and we're done. The answer is going to be 4R squared root 3. As always, ask me any questions in the comments, or if you want to see any other topics, please let me know. But for now, I'll let you run, and I'll zoom out so you can see everything to close out. If you liked this video, if it helped you, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next go. Peace.